Hey, what's up, guys? This is Oswaldo from Rock Entry. Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, welcome. Today, we're gonna learn about heel hooks. I'm gonna go into details from a bad heel hook to a good heel hook, a comparison. Now, this route right here, we're gonna be climbing together and it consists of a lot of heel hooks. So this is a really perfect example. Let's do this. Now first, I'm gonna show you guys this attempt without using any heel hooks. So we can get an idea of why we are using them. Now these two back to back, they look really similar. On the left side, it is pretty obvious that I don't have control on each movement. That's because one, I'm not stabilized and two, I'm doing most of my work with my upper body. Now on the right side, as soon as I placed my right heel hook on this hold, notice I'm using it to help my right hand pull together. At the same time, this heel hook, it's helping me stabilize my entire body. So I have a lot more control. Once again, on the left side, I'm only using my upper body to do most of the work. And on the right side, I'm using my arms and legs to work together. This makes the climb a lot easier. Now, let's look at this a lot closer so we can get more detail. Notice the hold is pretty big. It's a solid jug. Now my goal here is to play as much of my heel as possible inside this hole, like so. Once I'm in this position, what I want to do is engage my heel. So I want to pull in with my heel and my right hand together. Now I don't stop. My heel is always engaged. I'm actually always pulling in with my heel. I don't stop. Now, we've been focusing so much on the heel hook, but here's a tip. The hips matter a lot. The goal is to bring in your hips. So you want to pull in with your heel hook and bring in those hips to the wall. Like so. Now, here's an example when you don't engage your heel. If you don't engage your heel, your upper body is doing most of the work, if not all of the work. So again, just because you place your heel on the hole does not mean it's going to help you. You need to actually pull in. Now up here, there's another big hold. And once again, we're going to be using the heel hook. So if we get closer, you could tell I engage that heel. This really makes it so much easier to send the climb. Now, it is obvious that this climb could be sent without heel hooks. But in the future climbs, when they get more difficult, they will be required. For instance, in this climb here. Notice there's no way around it without using this heel hook here. Same goes for this climb. Heel hook here. Engage at all times.
and here. All right, let's look at the full set. All right, and we did it, guys. If you find this useful or helpful in any way, please do hit that like button. And if you haven't yet, subscribe so you can get more climbing tip videos just like this. Love you so much. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.